everybody. Today I'm going to review Weir's Craftform Plus screwdriver sets. And the two different ones that I have here today are their standard Craftform Plus six piece set, which would be a general purpose set. And then I also have their insulated set. So let's say you ever work around electricity, changing out light fixtures or outlets, maybe you're an HVAC person, and there's ever a chance of you being shocked, you really may want to spring for that little bit of extra and bump up to the insulated set. The cost per screwdriver increases by roughly about $1. And you do add that added level of security in, knowing that if you happen to work around something that you think's off, and it's actually not, you're not gonna shock yourself like you would with just a standard screwdriver set. So what I wanna do in this video is go over the different features that they have built into these, and then we're gonna see how they actually perform. Here's a closer look at the two different styles of screwdrivers, and you can see the one in my hand is gonna be their insulated version. The metal shaft all the way to the tip is going to be coated in plastic, and these are rated to withstand up to 1,000 volts. Now before they leave the factory, I read online that they're actually tested up to 10,000 volts. So that 1,000 volt estimate really is low in my opinion, and I think as long as you keep it at that or under, you should never have a problem with these. Now the general purpose one, as far as construction wise, is going to be exactly the same way except the shaft of course is going to be exposed the whole way to the handle and this would not provide any protection against electrical shocks. Now that taking a closer look at the grips on these, this black portion is going to be a very hard plastic, the green part is going to be an inset rubber inlay, and then on the insulated version of course, the orange part is going to be a very hard plastic including the insulation that goes all the way up the shaft. And then this yellow portion is going to be that softer rubber inlay. Now I do want to point out on the tops of all of them, they do have the size markings. This being a Phillips number two, it does say PH2 with a picture of a Phillips driver. So if these are all facing down in your tool bag, you can easily grab the correct screwdriver the first time. Now on the base of the grip, it is a hexagonal shape. So if let's say you're working on an HVAC unit, you set this down and you want to leave it, it's not going to go anywhere. So even if it's rolling, it will stop itself because of that hexagonal shape. That's not round and it's not going to allow it to roll off the unit. Now lastly, I want to point out the grip itself. It's a very unique style that does have three different loops down in here. And it's very unique to Weira. And I gotta tell you, it's an extremely comfortable grip. This is probably one of, if not the most comfortable screwdriver that I've ever used. And if you read any reviews about these online, that's gonna be the most common theme is talking about that grip and how extremely comfortable it is. Now the other thing you're gonna hear about is the laser tip on the end of here. This is actually an etched in tip that will rough it up it's going to grab onto a screw and it's not going to let go. So next let's go over that laser tip and see how it actually performs. Now I've seen some demos as far as the laser tip goes on this to show the gripping power that it has. And what I originally saw was this twisting into a block that had a screw in the top of it and then you could lift it up off the table. Now I want to do something a little more extreme to see the actual gripping power of the laser tip itself and how that's actually going to grip into a screw and not let go. And what I have in mind with this, I'm actually going to go ahead, grip onto a screw on the side of the 46 inch Milwaukee toolbox. Now this empty weighs over 400 pounds, and now it has a lot of tools, a lot of batteries, and other chargers and things on it. And I would guess it weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 550 to 600 pounds. So just using one screw and the Weir number two Phillips, I'll go ahead, twist it into one of the screws, and then I'll just pull, and we'll see if it's going to pop out of the screw face or if it's going to pull the box along with it. So here I am, twisting on it, I'm going to go ahead and pull, and you can see it's pulling this 600 pound toolbox now across the concrete floor with no problem. Okay, I put the toolbox back exactly where it was, and we're going to try that exact same test now with a Craftsman number 2 Phillips. Now this is pretty much brand new, there's absolutely no damage to this screwdriver, but it does not have any sort of anti-slip properties built in the tip. So what I'll do is go ahead and put it in the same exact screw, turn it with the same amount of force, and then pull, and you can see it's going to pop right out. So even if I turn it with more force, it's still going to pop right out, and it's actually starting to damage this screw face. But if we take the Weira, we can then put it in the same screw, Go ahead and turn it exactly the same way as we did originally, and then when we pull, the box is going to come along with it. Now as far as mounting options go, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. If you choose to use the included bracket, you can see there are two different places on the back that you can either put screws through 
or you can actually put some pegs in a pegboard and they're going to hang on there just fine. So if we slide those on the pegboard, we can then pull whichever screwdriver out. The weight of the other screwdrivers is going to keep everything held down in place and then you can just always pull out the one that you need. Now another option for mounting this of course is going to be to install two different screws, one on either side and that's going to hold it fast against the wall. Now what I actually chose to do is to take a scrap piece of wood, screw that into one of the runners behind the pegboard, and then I can take just two small drywall screws and feed it into that scrap piece of wood. I really felt like this made it much more stable than just hanging on the hooks, but if you don't have the option for this, I mean you could hang it by the pegboard pegs really with no issues. This just worked better for me. So you can see I'm just going to line the two up, take the number two Phillips, and then just run these in by hand. And it's really going to be ready to go at this point. So just running them in all the way, it really does make it have a nice tight fit that's not going to go anywhere. Even if I remove all of them, everything's going to be on here nice and secure. So now you've seen Weir's Craftform Plus screwdriver sets for yourself. Now these are just the six piece standard sets. We have the regular version as well as that insulated version and really depending on the type of work that you're doing you want to pick one of these two. Now they both have the exact same laser tip so they're going to grip in exactly the same way but the insulated version does cost a little bit more money and it is going to give you that added layer of protection against getting shocked. So if you are an electrician or HVAC tech maybe just a maintenance guy that changes out outlets you might want to think about getting the insulated version instead of just the standard one. Now one other thing I want to point out, they both have a lifetime warranty on them through wear against manufacturer defects. That's not going to cover use or just wearing out over time. So eventually the tips of any screwdriver are going to wear out. But let's say you go to use this, you twist it, and the handle breaks in half. They are going to replace that for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.